Congrats to Jalgiris team. At the moment, uh, you know, in my opinion, they they play maybe the best basketball in Europe at the moment. And uh, if you want to compete with them, uh, we cannot have those uh, empty minutes. When I say empty, empty minutes, that means that uh, first in offense, we must play our set, we must execute our set. We cannot improvise anything against them. Because if we start to improvise, uh, we are not in good uh, spacing to defend that their fast break. We are not close to offensive rebound, so this is the problem. Of course, they play very aggressive, and it's very tough to 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 play your set. You wanna? You can continue. Or... Yeah. And the uh, first half, uh, they scored 50 points on us, and uh, in the, during the half time, we didn't change anything. We just changed that intensity in defense, and uh, they scored 33 points. So it's uh, for me, it's sign that you know we can play, we can be competitive, but uh, we must do all those simple things. We must do all those things. What, how to say, extraordinary? Not just uh, playing, you know, following the rules. We must do something extra, extraordinary, some extra, extra effort against those teams like Žalgiris, like now elite Euroleague team. Trener komentaras Berunktas, treneris pirmasi pasveikino Žalgiris su Supergali, treneris sakė, mano nuomonė šiuo metu Žalgiris žaidžia geriausia krepšinio Europoje ir norime su įskovoti, negalim turėti tuščių minučių, polime negalime improvizuoti, nes tuomet visus sunkus sustabdyti varžovų greitą žaidimą, taip pat treneris išskiria, kad pirmoje pusėje varžovai pelnė 50 taškų, antroje pusėje tą tą pavyko sumažinti ir turbuoti jų polimą. Ir treneris pasidžiūgė, kad tai, tai rodo, kad galim būti kompetitivus, bet turim, turim visus dalykus išpildyti gerai. O ypač žaidžiant su Žalgiriu, turim netgi kai kuriuos dalykus daryti geriau, savo gal, geriau virš savo galimybę. You mentioned those turnovers, 19 of them. How much of those problems would be solved if uh, Dovis Bičkauskis would be healthier this season? It's not about one player. It's about, like I said, it's about... Uh, first of all, Yes, we play against big bodies, we play against Euroleague team, but you know, also we must do better, you know, we must be better in execute our offense, we must set better screens, we must make better cut, you know, even if 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 set is not for you, you must do everything like it's for you. Because if you do like this, it will be easier for, for other players. So it's without like uh, without those, like I said, offensively, defensively, those extra details, extra Extra effort, it's very tough to play. It's not about the Dovis I mean, one player doesn't mean nothing. We can bring Micic here now, you know, if, if we don't if we don't execute our offense, it will be tough. Klausimas buvo apie 19 klaidų ir ar tas skaičius būtų mažesnis galbūt į Dovio, bet Škauskio šiai kata būtų geresnė šį sezoną. Trenis sakė, kad tai nėra apie vieną žaidėją, žaidėm su Eurolygos komandos, dėliais kūnais, turim būti pirmiausiai geresni polime, statyti geresnės užtvaras, geriau verštis po krepšiu, tuomet visiems bus lengviau žaisti. Vienas Dovis nieko nepakeistų, galim įdėti čia Micičių, bet, bet tai turbūt nieko nepakeistų, ne apie vieną žaidėją. Tai. David Asiri, this 23 points again, a good performance against Euroleague team. Does he prove in your eyes as a Euroleague player next season? I mean, uh, I really think that now it's not time to, 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 to analyze like player by player. Now we have one goal, you know, to to be our best version of, of Lid Kabelis and uh, all, uh, not just mine, uh, people from the club, uh, coaches, you know, we are all just thinking now about how to how to play better, how to be competitive, you know. And after season we can analyze everything, you know. I will be I will be very open. Klausimas buvo apie Davido Sirvidžio, gerą pasirodymą prieš Eurolygos komandą. Treneris sakė, kad jo nuomonė dabar nelaikas analizuoti kiekvieną žaidėjo atskirai, dabar tiesiog turim siekti buvimo geriausią komandos versiją ir galvot, kaip visi galima žaisti geriau. Also, I must ask, you've mentioned that Jalgiris is playing maybe the best basketball in Europe right now and they have this crucial game against uh, Monaco this Thursday. What do you expect from this game? Maybe what? How can Jalgiris maybe win against this team? I mean, I will just, you know, support Jalgiris. I cannot answer because, you know, it's 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 a question for uh, for Andrea. And he knows, he knows the best, you know. It will be like, uh, how to say... <laughs> Not professional from my side. I don't know anything about. You know, I just I will just support Jalgiris. 
Klausimas buvo per Tenčias Žalgirio ir Monako rungtynės, jis treneris ne, nenorėjo labai to komentuoti, negali atsakyti, kaip, kaip Žalgiriui veikti Monako, čia klausimas skirtas Andrėja Trinkieriui, bet treneris sakė, kad palaikės Žalgirį. I'm happy for the win, because this game comes in a complicated moment of the season with a lot of demands, a lot of things to do, try to go over the limit, but is a huge step back uh, regarding mentality. Because without shining, we did what we had to do. We were up by 15, 16, controlling the game, and then we relaxed, turnovers. Some players really played horrible, and it's not missing shots, but making turn unforced mistakes, putting the team out of balance, and uh, without the right desire to be focused. And basketball is a very smart game, and. Uh, If you play without concentration, you embarrass yourself and the team. So this is a very bad exa example of bad mentality. Trener Romintis apie rungtynės, trener sakė, esu laimingas dėl, dėl pergalės, rungtynės sunkių metų, dabar toks sezono metas įtemptas, bet trener sakė, kad psichologiškai šitas rungtynės buvo žingsnis atgal, komanda pirmą dviženklių skirtumų, turėjo plus 15, bet atsipalaidavo, pradėjo daryti klaidas ir, ir nerodė to tinkamo susikaupimo. On Thursday, of course, there's this crucial game against Monaco. How to like get back to that mentality in such a short period of time? I will go to I, I will go to Iki or to Maxima to buy mentality. It's not something that you can. It's something that you work the whole year. Uh, we made not one but two steps back, and we have 72 hours in order to find the right mentality to play a very difficult game against one of the best team in Europe on the road so i believe that you know there is everything is already on the table in order to have the right mentality to play because otherwise it's better to stay home Klausimas buvo apie rungtynės, artėjančias rungtynės su Monaku ir kaip atgauta psichologinės stabilumą. Treneris jokavo, kad reikėjo nuėti į kierį ir maksimą ir nusipirkti, bet kalbėjo apie tai, jog, kad, kad tas psichologinės stabilumas yra tai, dėl ko komanda dirba viso sezono metu, o dabar tiesiog tam turi vos kelias dienas susigražinti apas tikėjimą. Dave, the three just finished the game with 23 points. Uh, how can you even, uh, is it possible even to limit this guy when he's... Who? David Asirvidis, 23 points. Uh, uh, what does it take to keep this kind of score mentality, out of, out mentality, of his? Mentality, because uh, he, he scored tough shots at the end, but we open his game with layups and uh, open shots. We make a lot of stupid fouls and it's always everything. Also the game of Orelik. Orelik went on fire and then he scored tough shots because we didn't box him out. He touched three balls at the beginning, he filled, he felt in the game, and then he is a very good player, very experienced player with a lot of points in his hands, and then he becomes a factor. So we have to do the job before. Then it's late, then it's late. Klausimas buvo apie Sirvidžio pasirodymą šį vakarą, treneris, ir klausimas buvo to pačiu apie tai, kaip, ar, ar manoma sustabdyti Davido Sirvidį, klausimas buvo, atsakymas trenerio buvo, kad irgi tai skaliametas mentalitetas ir nusteikimas, leidome Sirvidžių mes laisvus metimus, padarėm daug klaidų ir treneris įskyrė, kad tas pats buvo ir su Gedimino realiku, kuris irgi buvo karštas nuo pradžių, nes Žalgiris leido jam, jam pajus žaidimą ir ta, ta darba ir sustabdytos lyderius reikia, reikia anksčiau. I don't know if you know, but before the game, you had the chat with, with those twins, with uh, Aneta and Jurgita Kaushaita. One of them is the first Lithuanian uh, in the WNBA. Uh, what was the chat about, if you can tell us? About w why they end up living in Scandinavia. And I was sad to know that they are not in basketball anymore, because I believe that uh, they said to me, ah, it's too difficult. I say, I thought that you are tough, because when you were a player, you were tough. So. I don't see anything easy nowadays, so, but it was fun. I like their mentality and uh, I like them. So it was a very nice chat. Klausimas buvo apie SSS Jurgitą ir Anetą Kaušaitės, kurios stebė, kurio stebėjo rungtynės gyvai Renoje. Treneris sakė, kad su jom prieš rungtynės kalbėjęs apie tai, kodėl, kodėl jos pasirinko gyvens Skandinavai ir kodėl jų nebėra krepšinėje, bet pokalbėl buvo smagu su, su gera energija ir nuotai. And because of the day, I have to ask, uh, playing on Easter Monday, uh, do you like it? Do you dislike it? How do you feel about it? I played on Christmas. 
I play on the first of January. Uh, I played on Easter, so I know the rules of the business, and I'm good with that. So I know that it's good to play when people can come to the game and they are not in working days. So. Klausimas buvo per rungtynės per Veliko pirmadienį, treneris sakė, kad jis sužaidės per Kalėdas, jis sužaidės per Sausio, pirmą per Velikas, suprantu verslo taisyklės, man tai tinka ir tiesiog gerai yra žaisti tada, kai žmonės gali ateiti rungtynės. And did you like spending Easter in Lithuania? How was it? Like it or dislike it, I had to do it. So, I am in, I'm in a good place. So, people is extremely nice. Uh, you know, Zagreb in Kaunas is a big thing, and uh, I feel uh, really in a good place. You know, of course I miss home, but my family was here, so it was good. Klausimas buvo apie Velikas Lietuvoje, kaip trenerio jos patiko. Treneris sakė, patinka ar ne, aš tiesiog turiu tą padaryti, bet esu gero vietoj, žmonės labai malonus. Aišku, pasilgsiu namu, bet šima buvo kartu. 